Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Raznak. We continue on our Facebook finds journey to find more wonderful mods on Facebook. Those hidden gems that, that elude us sometimes is a lot of people don't use Facebook and uh, or don't use Facebook well, myself included. And I find mods on there and I thought I would share for you all the great, great mods that I do find on Facebook. Uh, for all of you at home to enjoy in your PC play. That's right, if you're listening to this, Facebook finds are PC mods only, folks. PC mods only. I'm sorry, I know, I can, I feel your hate. I do I feel it coming through the internet, digging into my soul, but again, I am I'm so very sorry. Uh, but yes, these are for PC only. So today, we're gonna look at a couple really cool Freightliner trucks. These are by Ben Kempa. Uh, these are, I believe, FS22, or they're conversions, edits, improvements uh, that Ben did and posted over in OK Use Mods. That's where I saw them. Uh, they're also on his own Facebook page. I'll put links to both of those down below and you'll be able to find them there. Um, so, yeah, I don't, the, the actual credits for this is, is very long. It is the mod description, so Ben does give credit to all the authors in the mod description. So uh, if, if, if you get upset about that kind of stuff, that it is there. But this is Ben Kempa. This is his Freightliner uh, 108 SDs with a new leader uh, lime fertilizer spreader or the Noon Magnum slurry spreader. Uh, very, very nice vehicles. Uh, you can tell that they are kind of conversions because you have some kind of low res stuff. It's not bad, but like the decals are a little low res. Um, some of the textures aren't fully up to FS22 standards, but all in all, it's a very, very nice, very nice vehicle that works very well. Um, and I've had, I've been playing with it on Pacific Northwest and I've had no, no problems with it. So I thought I would share it with all of you. So let's jump into the shop and take a look at these trucks real quick. So you will find them in trucks. You go down here, you'll actually see two of them. They are $150,000 each, the Freightliner 108SD spreader truck. We'll take a look at that one first. It does bounce. It's got these big, beautiful flotation tires, which I love. I think they are so, so very epic. Really, really like them. So 380 horsepower, uh, 74 miles per hour. But if, if you get a full load on this thing and try to go 74 miles per hour, that's your own fault. Uh, you get a couple trim options. You can go with black, or you can go with right here. So like if we, if we get in right here close, you got black trim, kind of in the air intakes. You have a grill. It's almost like a chrome trim. Even the exhaust is a little different by the looks of it. Or no, the mirrors. Yeah, the mirrors and stuff. So you can add a little chrome to it. Or you can just do just the chrome and leave, you know, paint around that. So there's a few different trim options that you can slap on there. Let's just go with black. Front bumper, you can go with black, you can go with chrome, or you can go with body paint. Uh, there's three different options, so black, chrome, body, but this, again, we'll go with black on this one, GPS, that's a mod I have enabled, I'm just going to hit yes, uh, to show you that it, it does work with GPS, uh, main color, you have a huge palette of colors you can pick, and of course, it just changes this one here, the palette's colors are very, very nice, you have all the base game colors down here, plus a bunch of added colors uh, that have been unlocked and added to the truck. It's again very, very nicely done. Beautiful, some beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out. So, if you lease it, so with all the options or GPS, so you can see the options cost just a little bit of money. I mean, you're talking 150 to 170 thousand dollars for this big, beautiful truck. All right, let's hit escape and. Let me show you. This will haul fertilizer or lime, and we'll take a look at it working here in just a second. All right, let's jump into this big, beautiful slurry truck. Exactly the same. 
big giant flotation tires on this one, right? So this one was a single axle with a big, now this one is a dual axle. That's right, we have a dual axle uh, truck, big flotation tires. Again, different trim options on this one are the same. Uh, bumper is the same and the color options are all the same. So you can get this any color you want, different trim, uh, all that good stuff, and it works great. All right, so let's look at these in at work, because that's what you're here for, right? We're not going to sit here and talk about them all day long. You probably have left by now, and you just already clicked on links, and you're like, "Thanks for the thanks for the links, Raz. We're out." So we'll fire it up. It's a very nice sounding vehicle. You look in the cab; it's a very highly detailed interior. Um, the dashboard is not animated at all. Uh, that I could tell, but uh, it's 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 very nicely detailed interior. Very nice mirrors, all functioning. Go to the outside. You've got two different light options. This one actually has back working lights. You can see the turning indicators, flashers, all work, and it has beacons on the top. All right, let's head to the field that I own. This is holding 8,000 liters of lime, so the load is pretty heavy. Uh, we're going to go to field 32. Even though it, it is stable, might take a little bit to get up to speed. Because, well, it's holding 32 or 8,000 liters of lime. Let's see, beautiful truck. We'll turn the lights off, leave the beacons on because we can, and it's fun. Now, the only complaint that some might have is the spreading width on this is not very large, uh, but the working speed is, is fairly quick. Um, so that's the spreading width, which is, I mean, that's okay. Uh, we, we do have some that are bigger. Uh, for lime, that's kind of awesome. Actually, there's the spreading width. You see the truck does get dirty. Love how it just kind of bounces around on the field. It's so cool. <laughs> I think it's so cool. And as you can see, we are liming. It does exactly what it's intended to do. Uh, we keep hitting these rock piles and we're just getting bounced around like crazy. But the truck it does get dirty. In fact, it might get a little too dirty. Because after you use it for a while, you can't see through the windshield. Um, I really wish wipers worked. I wish you could turn on wipers and just clean your windshield. I think that'd be cool. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not the case. It holds a lot of lime. Works 11 mile per hour spreading speed, which is fairly fast. And you can cover a lot of ground with this truck. A lot of ground can be covered. And then the nice thing is, is we'll go ahead and stop there because you get the gist of it. Uh, I mean, it's got a nice spreading animation. Uh, I mean, again, it's it's a very, very solid mod. Very solid mod. We'll hit B to stop. Yeah. There is a... So... There is a warning or an error that you keep getting for uh, the dust. Keep getting this error for the dust emitter. So if you look right there, no depth map available, but shape dust emitter with material FS has custom shader. Yeah. That's the only error I get is uh and then of course you see the warnings there for um the spreader truck uh, which i'm not exactly sure what those are but hey it works i'm not you know me i'm one of those guys if it's fun and it works we're gonna use it all right you can see driving across the field she's a little spongy but once we get on solid ground here boom nice and solid you can travel quickly with this uh, 51 miles an hour wherever you're heading to so when you got to go fill up dive in and go fill up great truck uh, definitely worth checking out one of my favorite mods right now it really is I love it it's uh, one of my favorites has an air horn Makes it even better. All right, let's try out this uh, big girl here. Again, this one's a little different, right? It's got a long, little bit different wheelbase than the spreader truck. Again, this one has beacons. 
has a beacon on the back and then two beacons on the front. Lights do work. Uh, it's it's pretty much the exact same truck model, just with a different spreader on the back. Just so very cool. Same interior. So these are very nice mods, and uh, I think anyone who does just wants a nice. There's a little that I noticed there, like when it bobs kind of heavy, your tires do get into the fender just a little bit, but I mean, I think at that point, it's just, that's kind of being picky. Now, with this one, you actually have to unfold it, right? You have to unfold the this, and I'm going to show you what, what happens when you unfold it. See, there's a little lever right here, which I assume is the pump, right? And I'm assuming what we're doing is we're engaging the pump, tying it into the transmission, I'm assuming. I don't know much about vehicles, but watch that little arm right there. So when you unfold it, it closes in. So that there is an unfold that you have to do before you use this. And I'm assuming that's what you're doing is you're engaging the pump to the vehicle. But I'm, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's what it is. Uh, we'll turn our beacons off. We'll hit B. And now we are spraying poop. Just like that. It sprays the poop. Does exactly what we want it to do. I think it works great. There's a little pump. Kind of hard to hear, but there is a pump sound. Uh, mirrors aren't optimally placed to be like actually use this in cab. Oh. Dropping the stink water. I think these are great. These are definitely great, great additions to anyone's mod folder. Uh, I think they're really, really cool. Uh, I enjoy using them. I like just the how nice they are to get around, how quick they get things done. And uh, they're fairly inexpensive. I mean, you're only talking $150,000 for a slurry truck, which is not not bad deal at all. Definitely worth checking out. A big thank you to Ben. Ben, thank you for modding. Thank you for releasing these. And thank you for making these available to uh, the public. I can't wait to see what else you work on. I've, I've, I was looking at your page today, and I see that you've got some stuff in the works. Ben also has some really, really cool trucks uh, some Dodge trucks, GMC trucks, some different kinds of trucks. Uh, if, if you're into the trucks, um, definitely go check out his Facebook page linked below. Give him a shout out from your friend, the neighborhood farmer Raz. Tell him I sent you. And then next, till next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. We're getting dirty now. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.